Hey, today I'm playing with a complete chef Crusinart food processor I got Joyce for Christmas. Uh, it'll be the first time we've used it. Made a lot of mistakes when I first started, but it's back there going now. But anyway, I thought, you know, what the heck, it's football Sunday, and I wanted to make some pagani sauce, so I thought, what, what the heck, I'd try to use this new gadget and heat it and mix it in it, and the Velveeta cheese was a complete disaster, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just playing anyway. Yeah, fun video. Talk to you later. Okay, since I don't have a clue what I'm doing, I put this blade in to cut the cheese. It should slice it, I guess. That's really all I needed to do. So, I didn't have the big Velveeta, so I had to buy two little ones to make one big one. Of course, you know that costs more. But, it will be interesting to see how this does. I'm sure it will be fine. It'll be kind of fun to do, I guess. If I can open up the Velveeta cheese. Since that will fit right there, it should be good to go. And I'm going to do food processor, chop about slice, and then replace bowl lid. So this has to be in there, I guess. I'm barely going to squeeze through there, so I'm going to cut this into in two. And go. Okay, I don't have something right because it's not spinning. I'm just going to make one heck of a mess out of this, aren't I? So what am I missing? That doesn't fit on there. That's what I'm missing. Oh, it's where it's got gears. Okay, so let me try a different blade. This blade, it's a slicing disc. Let's see, the one I had said that it was a dicing disc. So that does just lock right on there. So, okay. Try this again. It should just go right away. Of course, Velveeta is going to make a mess because it's just different, different cheese, huh? Where's my other this? I need to clean this. Yeah, maybe this is kind of a goofy way to do it with Velveeta, but oh well, I'm still playing. Yeah, it just looks like it's just packing all up on top. So maybe I shouldn't do it that way, huh? Yeah, so Velveeta, 
Not a good way to do this. I'm just making a friggin' mess. All right, so let me regroup and uh, change my game plan. Go from food processor to cook. Custom. And let's see, temp. Let's just go 120. Okay, 145 is low medium. And then start. Okay, it won't start until I put the lid on. So I gotta finish cleaning my mess before I can do that. Well, I'm gonna have a heck of a mess. I wanna put this paddle in. I don't know if I can. You know, the Velveeta in the way. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. So I gotta wait until either take it all out. I'm gonna wait until it's liquid. Yep, I guess I'll wait until it's liquid then that on okay the lids on replace bowl lid to continue so all of a sudden it still wants this on there and it's going okay so it took me a little bit but I finally found this cook the cooking top down in the drawer and right probably right where I put it went ahead and increased the temperature to 200 and um, we'll just sit here and wait Should just leave that on there, huh? And since I didn't see much happening, I went ahead and cranked the temperature up to the to 285, which I think is the max. And what I should have done, which I didn't, and actually I guess I still could. You know, I think I will. I mean, this is all a science project. I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place. I'm just opening it, we'll turn it off. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything out of here. Put it in this pan. Or try to. enough now I can put my mixer in there and that guy can start spinning while it's heating just got to figure out how to get it to spin and heat that I don't know and I guess I don't know Yes, I did wash my hands before I started. Hello. <laughs> yeah, this is the ultimate science project. And I guess, I don't know, should I? 
Go ahead and put the rotel in there now. I normally wait until the cheese is melted, but I mean, it could all do it at the same time, right? Drain some of that water off. Okay, there. And the picante sauce. I'm gonna start out with about that much. Looks about right, right? Everything with precision. Got to get it perfect. Okay. And now there is a section for speed. Okay, there's speed. So speed, two, six. So let's just go, let's see, one, two, three. Let's just go, I don't know, let's go three. That's the bottom of low. And, oh, well, that's pretty fast. Okay, so let's go even slower. Let's go one. And we'll just let it run. We don't know why it stopped. I guess it goes on a cycle maybe. cycle okay so that's all right that's cool I thought it would be continuous maybe when I get up to medium or something like that it is okay so it's been a minute and we'll just see what happens in a little while I sure can't tell if it's heating or not, but the chunks do look like they're getting smaller. It's been six minutes and 25 seconds now. Yeah. I like chips and cheese. They'll be good. There we go. Be back. Well, it's definitely melting. It's been another, it's been 14 minutes since I started. So it's doing good. Well, check back in another five minutes or so. <clears throat> Almost 20 minutes in. Definitely melting. There's, it doesn't, it's not hot on the outside at all. I really made a mess to start this whole thing. There's just one problem with the story. It never happened. Okay. The New York Times has quietly retracted his story about the death of Capitol Police Officer Brian Signick. There was no, no such it's thing. It's cold. No fire extinguisher involved at all. And the paper is backpacking, admitting that it's possible it was never even hit at all. And when I put the lid back on, it just starts again. I do wonder if it's heating. The video shows no spray coming out of the container. It's a lie. Sure enough, eventually the media... It is pretty cold. Okay. Let's see. I don't think this saved any time, but kind of fun to do. 25 minutes. I mean, it does look like it's melting. Let's see, it's 66. It's 64. I don't know. I don't know if it's heating. I guess we'll find out. Maybe it's a good thing I'm doing a science project with it's broke. Because it sure don't seem like it's heating to me. 
Okay, so. Yep, me thinking broke. Well, it's heating now, it's 81. What I did, the only thing I have done is I took, I um, picked it up, and reseated it. So, it is heating. This is like taking for forever though. Okay, how are you doing? Hundred and five, one oh seven. So it's working. It'll be yummy. Well, let's see how we're doing. It's pretty melted. Let's do steam coming off of it. One forty two, one fifty two. 165. I had to move the temperature down to 200, so it's doing good. It's probably ready to go eat some chips. So that was fun. Get me a big Tony the Tiger Bowl. Don't you like my Tony the Tiger Bowl? Yeah. They're great. took a long time next time I'll just make it as I normally would make it but it was still fun to use a new gadget and uh, yeah disaster on trying to cut the cheese right nah not Velveeta <laughs> that was just dumb anyway that's kind of fun to do y'all take care bye